Welcome to Signature Chefs of Orlando. This is Dexter's at Thornton Park, located in downtown Orlando, Florida. Started here in 1995. We offer a great lunch to a, a local clientele. We were the first wine bar in this area. We were one of the first wine bars in Central Florida. Tonight we do a uh, more high-end menu, and you've seen some of our presentations there. On Sunday we do a great Sunday brunch. It's the biggest party in downtown Orlando. The next time you're in Orlando, please stop by Dexter's at Thornton Park or the other couple locations. Um, and thank you for uh, tuning into this podcast. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Signature Chefs Orlando. My name is Chef Ian Holman. I'm here at uh, Dexter's Thornton Park in Orlando, Florida, and I'll be preparing a uh, quail dish for you today. Um, first, a little bit about myself. Um, I'm from the coast, uh, Florida. Uh, I grew up cooking my whole life, uh, thanks to my parents, as well as uh, quite a bit of travel to uh, restaurants around the world, uh, Michelin star restaurants in Europe and uh, South America. So it really inspired me to get into cooking. Um, I went to Orlando Culinary Academy here in Orlando, Florida. Um, now I've been cooking uh, professionally, I would say, for about nine years. And it's my love and it's my passion. So hopefully you can see that today with the food I'll be cooking for you. So let's get started. First, I want to make my marinade for the quail. And it's just a very simple marinade. Anybody can do it at home. And it's just about four basic ingredients. Uh, first, I'm going to start out with balsamic vinegar. Any balsamic vinegar will do. It doesn't have to be aged or anything like that. And when I do marinate, especially for just a few items like the small quail, I like to put it in a smaller container so everything gets covered. Again, good olive oil, extra virgin, cold pressed, of course. And then your seasonings. We're going to do a little bit of salt, freshly ground black pepper, chili flake, excuse me, flake, also known as a red pepper flake. I love it. I put in everything. It's good balance for the heat to the sweetness. And then we're going to take a shallot and three garlic cloves. And I'm just going to crush the cloves so they give out some of the flavor. Simple. Right in there. And then we're going to do our shallot. Just cut it in half to release some of those sweet onion flavors in there. Now for the quail. I'm going to take my quail. I'm not going to salt or anything, but I'm going to pat it dry. I'm just going to get a nice crust on it. This will help let the marinade uh, seep in. So right on there. And then a little bit of thyme. Thyme's going to reel off really good earthy flavors. It's going to be really nice. So let that get in there. Now you could marinate it overnight if you wanted to. The balsamic vinegar might be a bit strong. I would say about eight hours will work fine because the quail is so small. And then just finish it with just a little bit of honey. It'll give it a nice caramelization on the grill and a nice sweet flavor. All right. So put that aside. Let it do its thing. Next, I'm going to uh, supreme or segment an orange for our salad. Very simple. You just want to cut your ends off. Side. You want to take off the, the skin and the pith. You want to make sure you get all the white off so it leaves a nice sweet meat of the orange. And again, you could actually buy these in a can if you wanted to. Of course, fresh is the only way to go. Yeah, and anybody can do this. It's very easy. All right, so our orange. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do this over our frisee salad, which is going to be part of the dish. And when I do that, I want to capture all the juices from the orange. I'm going to be part of our marinade. So first I'm going to salt it, like I do with every salad I always make. And then a quick little turn of pepper. So to supreme it. You can do this over a, a strainer and save the juice for you to drink at home. You can do whatever you want with it. But I like it for my, uh, my dressing. So just in between each little, it's like a puzzle. It gives you a line where to go. It's really cool. And just drop them right in there. I have some already done, so I can skip to that. Put this right in there. I'm going to take our orange and just squeeze it right in there. That's nice. Now, frisee is really bitter, so the sweet orange is going to complement the dish, as well as with the, uh, I'm going to do some roasted grapes with it. Um, oops. And uh, finish it with a little bit of aged balsamic vinegar. So I'll put that aside. And if we want, eight hours later, we can go ahead and throw our quail in and roast the grapes. 
And I want to roast them really easily. Right on a grill platter. A little bit of olive oil for the fat. A little bit of salt. And all I do is take the rest of my time and put it right on top. When it mixes with that fat, it's going to crack and pop, and it's going to give all kinds of really good flavors. It's going to give the cut the sweetness with some earthy um, aromatics. It's going to be nice. So if you want, we can take our quail back and go ahead and grill it. Excuse me. So we're gonna grill our quail. I already have some that's been marinating for about eight hours here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my uh, grapes in the oven with the thyme and the fat. And it's okay to leave all the spices and the herbs and everything you have on there. It's a rustic dish, it's really easy. So I'm gonna throw that right on the grill, breast side down. There you are. It's gonna get a really good char because all of the uh, sweetness, the honey, and the balsamic in the mix. So let that do its thing. Wait about three and a half, four minutes on each side, depending on the heat of the uh, grill, and we'll go from there. And the grapes might take a little bit longer, so you can go ahead and put those in ahead of time if you like. Those take about, about 10 minutes, right until they burst, and they're sweet and caramelized. I always turn mine in about a minute and a half, so it gets nice grill marks. You don't have to if you don't want, but it does cook a little bit evenly that way. And again, rustic, use your hands if you want. Or you can use a pair of tongs or a fork. We see nice marks. Quail's got a really great sweet flavor, so the balsamic and the olive oil and all the garlic and the, the herbs really, really complement it well. There's many other marinades you could do. You could use this straight honey. You could, um, you could use orange juice. You can, again, the orange is going to complement in our dish with the frisé. So. Right. Grab a plate. We'll go ahead and flip our quail. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take our quail off and let it rest. It's always good to let your meat rest so all the juices come back to the center and it will be cooked through. I've got my roasted grapes as well. We'll take this and plate this with our salad. All right. So we have our grilled quail and our roasted grapes. I'm going to just go ahead and, like I said before, we're going to let our quail, uh, excuse me, quail rest for a moment. Get that out of here. And we'll put our plate together. I like to cut the quail down the middle. Like to cut through a bone. Gets good portions. Now this dish could be uh, a late summer, uh, I would say maybe uh, a lunch a lunch, uh, an appetizer for two, or even a small entree. There's a lot of things you can do with the quail, especially since we uh, have the breast boned out. We could uh, stuff it maybe with lentils or sausage or something like that to make it a bit of a heartier dish. But I like it just as is. The honey and the balsamic give a nice sweetness to it, a good charred flavor. We'll plate our grapes. Oop. They're really sweet and they're really nice. And I just use the thyme as just a bit of a garnish. And that dried, grilled, awesome thyme just gives it this really funky flavor, so it's really nice. And then our salad that I had from before, I'm just going to add a bit of olive oil to that. Now we already put the orange juice in there for our acid. And the bitter frisé lettuce gives one, quite a bit of body to your salad. And two, it's going to complement all the sweet things we have going on with the grapes and the uh, marinade and the quail. So right next to there. And I'll take my segments. And you can make it nice. You can plate it a million different ways. I just kind of throw them around. See a little bit of bite of everything. And be generous. Give them quite a bit. All the flavors will go really well together. I just put them around. You can even put a little lettuce on the, the quail if you like. It's rustic, simple. And then I'm going to finish it with just a bit more of the olive oil. and some really good, nice aged 25-year-old balsamic vinegar. And there you are. Grilled quail with a frisé salad with fresh oranges and roasted grapes.
Thank you very much.